Hey everybody, it's Mike, obviously. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to rig a character. I'm literally in the middle of setting up this file that's going to be an animation for myself to market. And I was like, why don't I actually show you guys a real simple way to uh, rig a character in After Effects. And um, So what I did is I designed the whole thing in Illustrator. And um, so let's see here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I designed the entire anim uh, the entire animation here, and then I had to break it up first to bring all this stuff in separately. And in this case, um, what I've got here is the, the head and the body and everything. So what we want to do as an illustrator is you want to make sure that all of these are on their own separate layers, and you want to name them. And then when you bring them into After Effects, they're all separate. And that's what I did here, brought in After Effects. Uh, so the actual animation here Here's all the layers from After Effects. Um, obviously, you don't want to do this. This is just because I'm. It's for myself, and I know exactly what these are. But other than that, you can see that I just layered. Uh, I just named all the layers, and then now I'm in the middle of rigging this guy. Uh, real simple. Usually, a character can be really intense, but um, I'm actually. I haven't even. I just literally put this in here. So the way I'm going to do this is first thing is first is if I have After Effects. Creative Cloud. I'm going to control click on all these and I'm going to make them um, create shapes from vector layers. And what's going to do is going to make it vector. Now I can take all these and if I have them selected, if I deselect it, then I'm like, crap, I have to reselect all of these and, and separate them. So instead of doing that, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to create them and then I'm going to hit shift, shift right or command right bracket. And it's going to push all of them to the top. And then I can see that they're all. Um, that they are all shape layers because of the way they are set up right here. And they have all these different attributes now. Um, but I can go here to my Illustrator uh, layers and I can delete them because I don't need them. Now I have a lot more control with what uh, I can do with these guys. So first thing I'm looking at is one, let me just get it to full so it's a little bit more crisp. Um, I'm going to start parenting things. Let's see. So. I'm going to lock this guy, Command L, and the eyes, typically I'd put them into their own layer, but in this case I don't think I'll need to. But the mouth, uh, I'm going to keep that there, the eyes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null, and uh, the null is going to be, let's see here, whoops, no, 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 here we go, Shift, com Shift Option, Command Y, I'm going to have a null, and that's just an invisible uh, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, crap, I can't think of it, but um, I'll think of it in a second. And what you want to do is like attach things to, the, to this because you can make it move around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the eyes, the eye assets here, and I'm going to push them to the top. So shift command right bracket, and I'm just uh, command left bracket to put them under here. And Oh, controller, that's it. So I'm going to say the C eyes, and that means that whatever I move this around, which I don't do right now, the eyes will move. So if I grab these and I just get this little pick whip right here and just bring it up to this layer, that means that it's now connected, it's parented. That means that whatever this thing does, these things are gonna follow suit. So if I move it around, now my eyes are moving around. And it's better than it's better to do that because then I can have one thing that I can move around and, and make things happen with than to use then to make keyframes on all four of these which can get very monotonous so if i hit play you can see that the eyes will move around based on where that is so let's see yeah um so that's just one little fun thing there to do okay so i'm gonna deselect that and the mouth i think i'm gonna actually bring the mouth not to the eyes i'm gonna make another null i'm gonna du duplicate this with command d I'm going to put it around like here. I'm going to name it face, so C, face. And then I'm going to take the eyes. I'm going to parent that to the face. And I'm also going to take the mouth, and I'm going to parent that to the face as well. So I'm going to bring this up above the eyes too. Now, so you can see that the eyes, if I move them around, they'll move the eyes. But if I move the face one around, it moves both, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's good. So that's gonna that can move, you know, in uh, on its own outside of the head. So I'm gonna use Shift Command L to get the head back up. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna get the anchor point. I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom because if I do a head swivel, I'll hit W, it's gonna move back and forth. But again, here we go. Now I need to parent the face to the head. 
And I could do that. I can either make a null for the head, which you know, which makes sense, or I, I can just parent this, the face, to the head. Now the head, if I'm going to rotate it around, everything's going to move. So in, so let's say I'm here, but I want to move the eyes. I can now take the eyes and I can move them in um, independently of everything else. And that's why parenting is really useful. All right, so I've got the head. Now the head, I want to parent to the body because the body, in case that moves, I want the head to move around with it. So I'm going to make the anchor point go down, take the head, and I'm going to parent it to there. So now the body, if the body moves around, let's see, that one I may want to... Yeah, I'm going to give it another null. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to name this body C body. And I'm going to make sure that that's not parented to anything because it's going to be by itself. And I'm going to take, if I hit the tilde in the top left, it's above, it's to the left of the one. If I take the body, I'm going to bring it below. And I'm going to put that, sorry, my dog's in the background playing with a toy. I'm going to parent it to there. So now the body, where are you at? Actually, shoot, I want to, don't want to do that yet because where'd you go? I want to make sure this is on its own. There we go. Okay. Actually, I'll move it here. So then body outline, take this and move it on body. Now the body, no, if I move it around, this will move. But I also want the tie to be parented to the actual body part. And I also want to have this anchor point up here because if I rotate this now, it's going to swivel on that. So if I put it up here... I'm holding down Command too, so it'll lock. If I hit W and do the rotation, I can make a move, and that's the way a tie, I believe, would be swiveling or moving around. I'm going to take this tie and I'm going to parent it to the body. Okay, there we go, to the body. All right. So if you look at this, everything has got its parent. Everything's parented to something like that. And that's just like the basics of rigging. You want to just make sure that certain things are connected to uh, different body parts because all of them are going to move dependent on, um, like, if the head's moving, obviously the eyes and the mouth are going to move along with it. So let's see here, the head. Let's go ahead. There we go. Yeah, so if the head is moving, then you obviously, the eyes and the mouth are going to move along with it. If the body's moving, obviously everything's going to go with it. So that's why parenting is really effective. So now when I'm animating this thing, I can just control these things and make them do some stuff. So even though I can do that, you know, so it really just depends on the moment. And when I'm in it, I could just move things around. Now, the another thing, the reason why I made these an outline is so that, actually, you know what, I might, I might do another one here. Are the eyes hmm so now sometimes like when i'm in it i can see like crap maybe i should have tried something different like maybe the eyebrows they should have their own their own controller or if that's the case or just the eyes themselves so i think the the eyebrows i can duplicate the eyes and go up here and i could say eyebrows brows okay so then i could take the eyebrows and i can parent them to the eyebrows, and I can parent the eyebrows to the uh, face. Yeah, so it's still the face. So now I'm moving the eyebrows, you'll be like, wow, holy shit, wow, crazy. And the, uh, the eyes themselves, they can look down. Yeah, so that, I think that, that looks a little bit better. So now you can see where this is going to make sense later on when I'm animating. But yeah, so that's just the basics of rigging. Um, there are different tools like the DUIK or the DUIC tool and the rubber hose tool, which are really uh, effective. But since this is a basic Facebook group, like introduction to this, this is a um, real, uh, real simple lesson on parenting and rigging. So if you have any questions, just post them below. And if not, enjoy your day.